Welcome to the third and final part of my Bo Kyong trip. We are on our way to the Gyeongnam area, to be more precise, to Hadong at the south coast of Korea. This third part of the trip is all about nature and traditional Korea. Our first stop is the house of Che Champan from the late Joseon dynasty. To get there, we walked through a small folk village, so there was already a lot to see. Like, for example, Korean persimmon and other um, food. <laughs> Because of its well-preserved Hanok houses and views, this place has been the filming location for countless Korean historical dramas such as Mr. Sunshine and Toji the Land. The buildings were decorated in a very detailed way and you just feel like you're traveling back in time. And even though it rained a little, it was so worth seeing. Our next stop was a green tea field with a small tea house called Meam Jedawon. And luckily, the rain stopped briefly, so we could have a short walk through the field and enjoy our self-brewed fresh green or black tea outside. Our third and last stop for the day and this whole trip was the Samsung Palace. And to be honest, I was the least excited about this point of our itinerary in advance. I haven't heard much about Gyeongnam and Hadong and from the pictures on Google Maps the palace looked a bit disappointing. But when I tell you that this was one of the most beautiful and surprising places I've visited here in Korea so far, that's still an understatement. To get to the palace, you have to pass through some stone formations and small caves, which were so beautiful to look at. And after the fifth small stone gate, a huge turquoise blue lake appeared in front of us. But believe it or not, even this beautiful scenery is not the center of the actual palace. 
So after another 10 minutes, we reached the palace, which is dedicated to the founding legend of South Korea. We arrived at exactly the right time. Due to the rain in the morning, the mountains were cloudy, the turkey's lake was shining, the already slightly colored forest and the Korean traditional and also the somewhat unusual buildings fit perfectly to the whole scenery. All in all, this Buul Gyeong trip was a series of incredibly beautiful places and I can only warmly recommend everyone to go out of Seoul and go to the southeast of the country when visiting Korea.